Hello everybody, welcome. And uh, thank you for following us all the way to Venice. And today we have another artist with us, artist from Paris, Jean-Michel Antonier. Yes. We have been uh, seeing your work a little bit in, um, in Paris, um, also here in Venice, and uh, we would have you to tell us a bit about in Asia as well. So before that, uh, you are going to have a, uh, a big show after your retrospective in Pompidou Center, my way. So now this summer you are going to have another big show in Montpellier. Yes, instead. yes, because after the show in, uh, in the Pompidou Center, I did a big project in Versailles, mm. who took me four years to install this permanent installation in the garden of Versailles. And now I just, since two years, I'm working on this big project for um, Montpellier and Set. It's two cities. It's more than 40 pieces, um, old pieces and new pieces. So in Montpellier, it will be like a um, re mini retrospective mm. through, the, through my own work, but the work I collect of myself. So, uh, and uh, in set, it will be all new uh, pieces for Europe. But I think in Asia, some people already saw some of them because they Familiar were shown... Familiar with your work. Yeah. Mm. No, because it, some, some works were shown at the Kukje Gallery in, mm. in uh, Seoul. So, mm. yeah. The collection that you kept of your own work, are they the best work? Uh, I think some are the best for me, mm. and some are very important in terms of uh, meaning or in terms of technique. So we are publishing a small book mm. with all the story behind those uh, artworks. So some of them are maybe the most spectacular because they are very they were very complex to build with the glass blowers I work with. Others are very important because they are con linked to a trip, for example, trip to Asia. There is a series of pieces uh, I, I made when I was in uh, uh, Hong Kong in '92, uh -huh. <laughs> so it's a long time ago. <laughs> uh, some of these type of pieces were very important for me, and um, some are big, some are very small, um, but it's very it's it's give a very good picture of uh, my career. Mm. Uh, through a very intimate uh, project. Because they are also they can significant work at certain changes of technique or material as what you said. So yeah. in a way when we look at the collection that you kept personally we can really see the kind of point moment or changes or moment of uh, artistic kind of uh, evolution. Yeah because my idea is one day to, to make a foundation of my own work so that since long time I, I had this idea in my mind so that's why those, those work are very important for me so it would be a kind of a private museum as well or uh, a little space or no, yeah it's it's it's, it's 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 <laughs> a big project it's mm. not it's a project i'm starting now and it will i i hope i will realize it in the next 10 years uh working with an architect on a special place in south of france i, I dream to have a foundation of myself in the south of france so it's, uh, that's uh, the first start of this uh, preoccupation. What about the new work? So the new work are, are more, um, are very spectacular because the museum in the set is a huge museum on the arbor, on the, on the sea. So you, you are really in the middle of the city, but you have all the boats. It's an old uh, fridge for, um, for fish. Mm. So it's huge rooms of 20 meter long, seven meter high. So it's a series of uh, seven rooms like this, and also a first floor. So on the ground floor, you have um, the main uh, artwork is a big wave, huge mm. wave made in glass with uh, more than 10,000 bricks in glass, all s supported by a metallic structure. So it's a, it's a very, compl it's very complex art artwork, but very spectacular. Mm. And uh, it's more about the idea of how the elements are so strong uh, now uh, and I started this project about the wave when I was in Japan when I was um, showing my work it was as, at the time of the tsunami so I was very moved like everybody you know the world but yes. being in Japan at this time was very very moving so it's, it was the beginning of this preoccupation about the idea of wave but at the same time I was teaching in Hawaii and I was starting surfing a little bit so it was both feeling about the, the nature, yes, yes. Uh, nature of pleasure and uh, nature also of sort of dark Disaster side uh, yeah. and, and excitement. Yeah. So the color of the of this of this wave will be dark like the deep sea, you know, very mm. dark dark sea. So it's um, 
I hope you, you will be able to come and see it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Well, let's plan for it. And then, so for example, this, um, this wave with the glasswork, and it's very, very fragile and very difficult to install and like all of your pieces. Yeah. How, like, you know, technically, I'm really curious to know how you manage or with your team, how you build the install the work. So now, since, uh, since Versailles, in fact, since mm. the project in Versailles, I'm working with a team like a, like an architect, you know, with a series of people who, who know all the technique of the construction, engineer, uh, architect who design, all those uh, people who really help me to make something uh, you are able to assemble and disassemble during those traveling trips. Mm -hmm. So everything goes apart and you have to, to build it like a, like a big, uh, you know, like a big toy for children, but huge. <laughs> So it's, uh, it's, no, it's very exciting because mm. it's also a performance. Building the artwork, it's, it's a performance itself. Yes, yes. And part of the show, the beginning, the first weeks of the show, you will see the people still working on the wave to build it. So it's, uh, it's really something um, I hope people will enjoy to see this technical mm. part of it because at the end it's very magical. You don't know how it's, it works, how yeah, it's when made. You, yeah, when you see the final work, you will say, how is it possible? It's exactly, kind of yeah. a divine kind of a gravity to build this kind of work. But this, you can find it in a lot of my works. You know, mm. the work I did uh, uh, in Hong Kong recently, in mm. Water Bay, is something mm. also floating, but mm. it's very complex because it has to be strong enough for the typhoon, from the, you know, mm. everything. So it's... Uh, it's um, it's very interesting for me to work with a specialist. Mm -hmm. What about in uh, in Asia? So you were in Hong Kong in '92. Yes. That's so early. <laughs> yes, it was amazing because there were no no art gallery at this time. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, China was just starting to mm -hmm. to open. Mm -hmm. uh, Hong Kong was still English at this yes, time, so it yes. was something really interesting to. To discover and and in fact I was invited by uh, Cartier, the Cartier mm -hmm. Foundation, mm -hmm. and also uh, by the Hong Kong Museum of Art, mm -hmm. and it was the first show in this museum, 20 years ago, more than more than 20, 25. 25 years ago, and um, it was very interesting because I stayed with a Chinese crew and I had to learn English. It's where I learned English. It was in Hong Kong. <laughs> Otherwise, it was not possible to talk. We can we, now we can see your work in Clearwater Bay in yes, Hong Kong yeah. and in Japan you have also several pieces. I have um, pieces in um, with the Mori Museum mm -hmm. uh, in, at the, in the Mori Garden mm -hmm. and also at the Ara Museum mm -hmm. in Japan uh, in uh, in Gunma, uh, a big piece. Uh, I have a lot of collectors. Mm -hmm. uh, Asian collectors. Asian collectors, Asian yes. Collectors. And um, I learn a lot about my work in, in Asia, you know, because uh, there is something very strong in Asia, it's uh, the idea of spirituality mm. and um, the fact that uh, spirit spirituality comes from beauty, it's mm. something really strong in Asian culture, what we don't have in, uh, in Europe, mm. you know, because in Europe beauty is more linked to decorative art mm. or to... Um, a uh, sort of sin, sort of something you, you have to hide, beauty is not something you have to show. But in Asia, mm. beauty is a step to, spir to spirituality and it, it really helped me to, sh to look at my work in a different way. Mm. And, uh, and now I have uh, some shows in uh, Seoul. I, have a show, I will have a show this summer with the Cartier Foundation in Seoul also, mm. in a group show. This summer, so after, after Sight and Montpellier? Uh, at the same time, it at starts the same, the same day, so mm -hmm. I will be in Montpellier and not in Seoul, but I will, I think, maybe I will go to Seoul in, in uh, August or I don't know. Excellent. So we're, we will have our um, audience hunting for your work in Asia. Yeah. And everything is made here in Murano, you know, because I work in Italy for those mm -hmm. projects, so my glass borers are here in, in Italy. So it's, uh, it's, it's, usually I'm not here, I'm in more the other side of Venice, what is the where people work, you know, mm. in the in the fornace with the fire, with the glass, it's where I, where I am usually. The more down to earth. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's great. The Biennale was it's fantastic. So mm. it's it was a good moment. We enjoyed. Everybody's here for the yeah. opening. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.